Oh. Oh my goodness. That's got to be an alternator. Yeah, it does. Holy cow. Oh, this is super trippy. There we go. That's one. What? This thing again. What thing? Oh. What in the world? Hey, bud. Nice to meet you again. Oh, you just lifted up the ground? <laughs> what? How is that even possible? <laughs> oh. Wow. Jesus. Oh man, this is real bad. Ah! Oh, girl, you are dead. You are beyond dead. I think I'm beyond dead. No! <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Okay, he's going down. I need to run. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, he's almost dead. Okay. Okay. Got him. All right, bye, Mr. Former. Jeez. Oh, cow, that took forever. Like flamingos. Too pink. Same. Same. I don't like flamingos. Because they end up sending me to different portals where I have to fight giant void creatures. 
All right, time to find a mannequin. <gasps> oh my god, I actually get to deal with the rubber duck from earlier. How do I? Ah. Uh... Okay, give me a sec. I wanna, I wanna actually deal with these guys or the duck. These guys, I don't really care about. Okay, we have the shot. Oh, hey. All right, there's two more up the top. Let's see. One, two, three, and. Oh! And I know. Oh, I just missed. Oh, okay. Okay, apparently being behind cover doesn't mean anything. Wow, this is really bad. Okay, um... Oh, that's not everyone. Now that should be everyone. Okay. Alright, how do I get in with this duck? Oh, it looks like there is a path down this way. Let's see. Where does it branch off? Through this room? Down here? Behind? Okay. Oh, and the levitate, yeah. I totally just forgot that I had levitate. Ugh, okay. We should be able to run over here. Oh, I thought that's the farm thing. I'm just making that noise. Okay. Disappearing ducks. Great. Am I chasing a duck now? Got it. Finally, no more quacking. There we go. All right. What's going on, Underhill? How's it been? It's been a minute. Then go and find the source of the mold. Excuse Only me? There can we begin to understand how to stop it? So you promise I won't end up walking around covered in mold? Yeah, that, that sounds likely. The pill will prevent any biological infection by the mold. Take a mystery pill because your rude lady in a hazmat suit tells you to. Sounds good. Great idea, Jesse. Great idea. Oh, honestly, did you want me to wrap it in cheese? All the taste, the smell. Stinks in here now. Good. That means the pill is working. The worse it smells, the safer you'll be. Now okay. Go. Find the source. All right. Thanks for the information. I guess I'm checking the pit now. Pleasure. So I wasn't able to get the rest of Langston's issue, uh, because I don't have a level six security code, so I can't get into. The last area. That did not just happen. She did not just jump straight in to the pit. It just died like that. I didn't I didn't just watch that, did I? Oh, hey, this stuff doesn't affect me anymore. That's nice.
That didn't go well. Some more upgrades. Well, she did say that is a good thing. Oh, I can capture one of you. That might be useful. Since you are really strong. Could prove useful. Oh, I got a control point down here. Well, that's helpful. Oh, my man's just kind of flopped down. That, that was. That's pretty funny. Oh, this looks like a boss room. Oh, this looks like not pretty. Yeah, this looks like a fight. He has weak spots. Oh man, everything's exploding. Everything's happening all at once. Ah! No. Please, please, no, no. Oh, man, he was one shot. There we go. Yeah, that was bad. Yeah, that was bad. Today's episode has just been filled with death, and that's that's pretty funny. There. If I do some better shots, maybe this can work. Come on, what are we doing? Jeez. 
this? Yeah, we're dead. That's so stupid. Why is he able just to do that? Stay over here, nothing else can fall, right? Ah, come on. Why is there stuff on the ground? Oh, bro, I can't even... Oh, we did it. We got it. Oh, we got it. Oh my god, we got it. That took so long. Yeah, I mean, I'm not surprised anymore with the weird shit, but at the same time, the weird shit doesn't need to be so difficult. Alright. Oh, well, there's your source. Alright, so going back down there was useless, so you guys probably haven't seen that, so... It was just a single upgrade for like a level 2 launch efficiency, which I don't need, so. Going under underhill. Yeah, I survived. You surprised? And you're not sprouting mold from your eyes. I take it that means my pill worked. Now tell me everything. Did you find the source? Yeah, and I killed it. You did, didn't you? I found a big angry plant. Like gigantic. I killed it. You killed it! Yeah. You found the source and you killed it. Yeah. I could have learned so much from a live specimen. Her concern is touching. Really, it's too much. Huh. Here, I brought you a sample. A piece of the innermost mold. You're not such a lost cause after all. Oh, you weirdo. So thin. So different, even superficially. Another stage of growth, perhaps. Please, no more snickers. You'll be pleased to know that cutting down the creature at the source has already resulted in a notable cessation of the mold's rapid growth. You bought me time for further study. So what now? I'm glad you asked. While you were busy in the pit, a number of mold hosts were sighted beyond the threshold. They managed to sneak out without the range of oh. There's a reason I didn't send Steve and Andy to find the mold source with the others. These vagrant hosts must be eradicated as soon as possible. Uh -huh. The mold can still be spread by their overgrown bodies. Any idea where they went? The hosts I've observed are not a sprightly bunch. Here are the reports I've received. They'll help you find them. I'll go take care of them. Oh, Jesse, why? I'm not an errand boy. Nice way to say that. Thanks for the information. My pleasure. How big is this mission? You know what? I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go speak with Emily. I haven't done anything story wise in a long time. So, Emily, I'm gonna come talk to you because you're the only sane person that I know here. Plus, honestly, you're probably murdered by Dylan if I had to take a guess. So, I do like you. So, I'm gonna go make sure you're okay, even though I've gone on a quite a bit of side quests. What? What mission did I just get? Oh, I can go find Arish. Awesome. I found this token. Any idea what it does? Ah, that is a 
jukebox burglar. Hey. Little bastards turn up in the weirdest places, like bad pennies. The rangers use them to activate an old object of power. A jukebox, I assume. Does it have any good songs? <laughs> Just the one record. Nice. Gotta be careful turning it on, though. When it's playing, you'll get a free trip to the formation. The formation. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds ominous. Why does it send you there? Well, the Bureau has been wondering that for years. I mean, it's just a pile of rocks built by God knows who, but well, researchers have confirmed it's in the same threshold as the quarry. And no one's ever been able to map a physical route to the formation for maintenance. So it's in the quarry. You just don't know where. Pretty much. We only send in annual expeditions to the formation. It's checkups, as Dr. Hill calls it. This year's team went in the day the hiss arrived. Yikes. Come to think of it, someone should have learned that hours ago. I can go in and take a look. Okay. I appreciate that. After I talk to Emily, because you guys keep giving me too many side quests. Give him a token and enjoy the ride. I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. Yes, I am. Jukebox tokens can be constructed, control points are earned through bureau alerts. Okay. Is there a reason to? The building is emitted from the HRAs is purely antithetical to every variant of the history I can adopt. Now they're going off the air. Sorry, here. Hi, Emily. It's happening. After all these years, Dylan is here. Oh, but am I too late? How is he? I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the Hiss, but okay. it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. Polaris. I need to run tests. He seems more in control, more present. Mm. I want to see him. My brother. Or is he? Yeah, Marshall set up an HRA warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor, up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. Jesse, be careful. Oh, I'm gonna go mess up Dylan if he tries anything. You said upper level? Wait, why can't I? Oh, is this just a safe room? Yeah. I guess executive is just a safe room. Uh, uh, um... Excuse me? Hey, yo, that your brother still? sister he's talking in the third person great always a good sign do you know who you are not dylan trench and darling made sure of that i'm p6 p6 but i'm better now the hiss made me better the prison creep is sentencing to the west Ew. Can you stop that? Please. <sighs> Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped Yikes. for. It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. Why? They sound good. They make me feel good. Don't you want to say them too? No. Fuck off, no. 
You need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to help me. What? Shit. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> what? This is not safe. We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small. In ordinary. In the desert, through the door opened up by the slide projector. But she didn't help when Trunch took me away. She didn't give me any powers. Yikes. All the powers are my own powers. <laughs> and she didn't help when they locked me up for years. After the storm fell through the port, we filled you so left me and Marcus with their cracks in the tree crown like child of you. You are home. The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it. And they found... They opened the door up to the hiss. That's the only thing I can thank them for. Oh, there yikes. There it is. We stopped the altered world event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. The projector is here. So I have to find the projector. And you're alone as a team you can't stop from returning. Baby, baby, baby. That was creepy. Just past. So free. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Finally. I welcomed the hiss. I let it in. We can tell. To get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Polaris is using you. The Bureau is using you. You are a puppet. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. If we shut off the slide projector, maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. They're both the awful, if we're gonna be honest. The containment sector. I have the key card to get you there. So hey, I that's the key card I need. Wanted. Well, shit. I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. <laughs> what it turned him into. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. But only to look for the slide projector. Yep. You can help me. We can end this. I don't know what else I'm hoping to find here. Dylan. Can we talk? I'd like to tell you about it dream I had last night. You're so oh, creepy. Start? Okay. I'm listening. I was back in ordinary before all of this happened. But in the dream, I was alone. It was just me. I was the only child. A girl. My name was Jesse. Dylan Faden. That's so weird. But then the Bureau came and caught me, brought me back here, and locked me up. Have you ever noticed that our names, Jesse, Dylan, they could be girls' names, boys' names, it could be anything. What are you talking Don't about? You find that weird? No. I find that weird. Why? Your parents just named sure. you that. The hell was that? Yeah. Is he trying to mess with me? All right. <laughs> I can just keep talking Maybe to him. Maybe Dylan's still in there. Maybe there's a way to reach him. 
I'd like to talk to my brother, please. Gillian? <laughs> Gillian would like to tell you about a dream he had just now. Just now? Yes, again. I was going to be the new director of this place. And then he became I psychotic. I job here so that we could be together. You were an office assistant. You what? You make coffee and deliver the mail. And there was always plenty of work to do. And it stayed that way. Forever and ever. It was nice. Really nice. That's debatable. But here's the strange thing. The dream shifted. And none of it was real anymore. It was a game. We were in a game. And it was a fucking boring game. <laughs> 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 and then it shifted again. Little self aware, are we? Or, or maybe it was another dream already. Or, or maybe I'm just confusing them. But in this other dream, it was more like a musical. This is an ordinary song about an ordinary girl from an ordinary town. It's the ordinary story. She worked an ordinary job in an ordinary office. You're so creepy. And that's all I can remember of that dream. All right, I'm done talking to you. Yeah, I I'm about done. You got a little too self aware for me. That was pretty funny. All right, I'm a bail out of this room. Head over. But I think that's gonna do it for this episode. We got the level 6 clearance card, so for next episode, I can do Langston's mission. I guess I'll go try to get all these mold creatures for Underhill, and then maybe eventually we'll go save Dylan. Who knows? But thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please consider leaving a like and subscribing if you want to see more. Uh, go follow my Twitter. I would be It's going to be in the description. That way you'll know whenever I'm posting a new video or I'm going live. Because I have a very inconsistent stream schedule. But I do stream quite often. But again, hope you guys did enjoy. Catch you all in the next one. See ya.